my name is Daniel. I'm with the American Refugee Committee. It's great to have you all here tonight. I hope you enjoyed the Sambusa cook-off. Can we get a hand for all the cooks? Thanks. So the, a few m months ago, I think many of you know, we launched Neighbors for Nations. That represents really the coming together of an organization like American Refugee Committee with the Somali community here in the Twin Cities and we're hoping the wider Minnesotan community that care about the things like the humanitarian crisis in Somalia. Uh, as you know, there are a lot of very serious things going on there. Just this week, um, the droughts got very bad, and people have asked us, when are we actually going into Somalia and starting work? And so the good news is, our team goes in this Tuesday, and they're landing in Mogadishu. So we're very excited about that. There's a lot of people in real need in Mogadishu now, and so our team's arriving on Tuesday, and we're working with the local organization to start making sure people have food. But before we could really even dream of going into a place like Mogadishu in Somalia, and before we could dream about bringing people like you together for this cook-off, we really needed to spend time to get to know the Somali community. And the key people, really, that have been working with us on this have been the Somalia Advisory Council. I won't get them to put their hands up, it's very dark in here, but you will have a chance to meet those guys as you mill around tonight. They've made a big difference and I want to say thank, uh, thank you and I want to acknowledge them publicly, so thank you guys. It is a complete honor to be here tonight and uh, we really want to thank the American Refugee Committee and uh, the amazing, amazing coalition of local Somali residents who were part of the advisory committee here. It was one of the greatest uh, days I've had in office when after struggling for many months, thinking how are we going to do a legitimate relief effort in Somalia? How were we going to really find something that made sense, but also reflected the values of this community. We were re really struggling with it, and Daniel and the advisory committee came into our office and explained that this program was underway. We were so excited. The only time that I can think of that was more exciting was that night when we kicked off Neighbors for Nations in City Hall. You can see the flyers uh, here with the pictures. It looks like just a whole bunch of us standing around. Well, we were standing on the steps of City Hall, and this amazing place where for a hundred and 100 years, really, people from Minneapolis have been coming to the main square, uh, indoor square of the city. And there we stood, people from all over the world who now are part of the new Minneapolis. And it felt so good. And when I walk in and on a quiet day and I look around that building, the voices that you brought into City Hall that day still ring true in my heart. So I want to say it's been a real gift to be welcomed into this Somali community. I'm here also with my wife, Megan who is somewhere out here, Megan, where are you? Right over there. And um, Megan and I and our son, Charlie, and our daughter, Gracie, all feel so incredibly welcomed and blessed to be part of this community. So I want to thank you for that. It is, uh, I have difficult decisions in my job, but none more difficult than trying to pick between these amazing people tonight. So we're going to do our best, but thank you very much. And let's also each commit to making sure that we bring several people from outside of this community beyond the Somali community to be part of this relief effort because now in Minneapolis we are all Somalis. Thank you very much. How are the Sambusas? Good. good. You know, such good food and feeling too. You know, when I was coming here I thought I was going to try some appetizers and stuff not knowing it was a meal. It was good. The, uh, so we're going to, I hope everybody had a chance to vote, right? I voted for your favorite, and that was not the easiest thing to do because I loved all five. I wish I had taken little extra chips to vote. It's definitely a pleasure. So let me introduce to you the wonderful people behind the wonderful food. And we're going to start over there, and that's uh, Nafisa Farah of uh, Some America Catering. And right here we have Fatun Noor representing, and uh, she just cooks at home. So it's homemade, she says. I like that. Home <laughs> and we have Abdurrahman Kahin over there representing Afro Delhi. 
And we have Ida Rose Munye of uh, International Food Manufacturing. Thank you. And last, but definitely not the least, uh, Sade Hashi of Safari Restaurant. Thank you all, thank you all. You do a fabulous job. Regardless whether you win here tonight, you're already winners in my stomach. <laughs> so, you know. And we, they started that they've already had uh, quite a few people uh, step forward already. And I heard that a lot of it from the Somali community. So I really want us to give a round of applause for that because that really makes me feel good as an African, you know? And we also have few people here with us today that have since joined in. And I really like to invite those of you that have not taken the step yet to really, you know, make that pledge today. It's a thousand dollars from a thousand people. And uh, there are many ways, and our volunteers are there. I would like you, you know, if right now you feel so moved, you can walk up there and uh, write your name on the board.
now for the big moment. For $1,000, the finest sambusa of the evening, and I am told this was an incredibly close decision because of the quality of all the contestants cooking. But the winner is the Safari Restaurant, Sanjashi and Jamal. Do I have an actual check to give these gentlemen? I don't think so. Thank you. Congratulations. All right. I think we want to know, what's the secret behind your samosa? Can you tell us? I'm going to let Jamal take care of this. Thank you. <laughs> Jamal? There you go. The creativity behind just any food is love and passion. Put it to anything and it's going to be good. Jamal, that's what we call in radio a cop-out. <laughs> <laughs> now tell the people how you made the darn thing. <laughs> Step into my kitchen, just like you did, remember? Uh-huh, yeah, but not everybody can do that. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm willing to give everybody a chance to come into my kitchen. How about that, huh? And then I'll show them the secret. You're gonna be jabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to a 2011 so. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Next, we've been having a lot of fun, but it's really gonna be we have some nice surprises. Not really surprises, but some nice things coming up. And uh, I introduced uh, this judge earlier. So she's not only a fine judge of Grace Sambusa. Like I told you also, she's a star uh, in her own right. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me give a big Minnesota welcome to the James Brown of Somalia. Ladies and gentlemen, Hebo Nuri.
Yeah. 